Hello there fellow Minecrafters. Um, I am Minecraft Super Admin uh, with White Crow Security Tactics. Um, I'm here to discuss some of the scripts I've made for Minecraft that will um, help all of you out. Uh, that most admins of big um, game servers will not tell you uh, certain tricks or server things that you can do to make your Minecraft lag free and fully automated so you don't have to mess with it at all. <coughs> so, uh, if you do like my scripts and you use them, if you could uh, go to whitecrossecurity.com and click the donate button. I'd highly appreciate it. And please don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> okay, now let's get that. Uh, let's get into the actual capabilities uh, of my scripts. First capability is the ability to auto reboot within game. What that means is if you're an op and you're inside the game, uh, instead of getting out of the game to stop the server, you can just type in forward slash stop and it will stop the server, wait a few seconds and start it back up. So it's a uh, reboot. You don't have to go to a console. And okay, next thing is um, in this script, you have scheduled backups um, and the script will actually notify the players, letting them know, hey, the server's about to reboot. Uh, due to backups and it will actually stop the server uh, perform an auto backup uh, to a target directory and then it will also perform an uh, auto cleanup of the backup directories and the way I set up by default is anything seven days or older any folder seven days or older will be re deleted so you don't run out of disk space on your um, backup drive. Uh, another thing to mention about the backup drive, you could have it point to the same drive, but if you have something like Dropbox that syncs it to the cloud, that's probably the best thing you can do because you know if a nuclear bomb um, <clears throat> drops on your house and uh, you know Minecraft server has to be up, your friends can just uh, take that shared Dropbox folder and just copy it and start up the script and there it goes. No more drama. <laughs> um, so that helps. Uh, when your computer just crashes on you <clears throat> you need a new one. Okay. So the next part is uh, it will do an auto update to the newest version of uh, Craft Bucket. Yes, it will go to the Craft Bucket development site and download the newest version of Craft Bucket rename it to craftbucket.jar and start up the server. <clears throat> okay, now this part, no lag code. What that means, there's a one-liner code uh, inside my script that is huge. It's like a paragraph of all these Java switches that uh, most uh, you know, professional uh, Minecraft server admins will not tell you about, uh, which makes your server completely lag-free. It doesn't matter what type of hard drive you run it on. Uh, and you only need 4 gigs of RAM max to run the biggest server out there. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you that later on. So let's get to the setup. First things first, uh, you need to get the wget.exe uh, from this site here, this link right here. Um, or you can just download it from my Dropbox, including all the scripts that are here as well. Or if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You just download it from the the original owner of wget, the creator developer, and you can just uh, I, I'll bring up the full script on the full screen, and you can just uh, you know hand jam it in. Up to you. <coughs> but I shared it for you for easier convenience. Yes, there's no viruses. It's just text inside the scripts, and you can edit it and look inside of it. They're not that big. Okay, so next portion. <clears throat> Let's configure the firewall on Windows Firewall. What I like to do, I just disable the firewall. Why? Because I have a router uh, that usually does the firewall blocking of anything else. So I don't really care. But if you are paranoid and you do want double protection, I will show you how to do that. Because if you don't uh, disable your firewall and you don't put this exemption in, it will not work. So let's do that. Let's go to start. Control panel. Um, here, 
Usually it'll be categories, so just change it to large icons or small icons. Uh, and then click Windows Firewall. So as you see, mine's disabled. So for you who are paranoid, just click Advanced Settings. Here you can click Inbound Rules, uh, and click New Rule, um, and actually I have it in here already. So it's called Minecraft Server. I'm just going to delete it just to help you. Bye-bye. <coughs> New rule. Okay, you want it to be a port because we're going to use port 25565 which is the default port for Minecraft. It will only be TCP and here's where you put the 25565. Um, next, allow connection. Next, to everything. <coughs> <coughs> Minecraft. Excuse me, my throat is dry. I've been trying to do this video like five times already. <laughs> Minecraft server. Uh, and that should be good. So the rules there <coughs> can, should be on the top now. So your firewall's good. You're done. No more firewall. Now let's go to your router settings. Uh, click on the WAN portion and then do um, virtual port forwarding depending on your router however it does port forwarding but basically what you have to do is add the port number and uh, point it to the IP, the current IP of this uh, <coughs> where your server resides so just do IP config um, do it like that uh, mine's different here because uh, that's actually pointing to my virtual servers, but you would put whatever it would say here for yours <laughs> into that. Uh, so that's that. You can figure your port forwarding here. Okay, we're done. Okay, let's get to the scripts. There's very little you got to do. So, <laughs> um, let's see if you've downloaded my stuff. <coughs> you know, the Dropbox. Make sure you download all these and put it in the folder that will be running the actual Minecraft server in. So mine's right here, Minecraft. Okay. Hmm. Let me delete all this. Why? Because I don't care. Is there something running? Yes. Okay. Try again. <coughs> out to you. Put it in here. <coughs> so there you go. I copied it here. So now the only thing I gotta um, modify is this. Right click on auto backup. Edit. <coughs> Here's the tricky part. Okay, so the only thing you gotta change is these two areas here. That's it. <coughs> so, source drive uh, minus C drive. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want, depending where you put your um, you know, Minecraft folder. Don't have to mess with that. Okay, destination. Mine is going to be different. So mine is, I think it's in backups. <coughs> Delete that. That's what it's going to look like when it does backups. It actually dates it for you. So I'm going to do this. So it's D drive. And see, it's going to my Dropbox. <clears throat> so um, I'm good when nuclear disaster hits. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna copy and paste it in here and change that to D because we got the D drive. Okay, <clears throat> make it big. Okay, pause it, copy it, hand jam it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and here is uh, another piece. See right here, negative 7? This is how many days of backups you want. Now you can put it to 14 if you want. So you can have up to 14 days worth of backups. Up to you. But I think 7 is way more than enough. Okay, so that's done. Save. Next thing, uh, you don't have to edit anything here, but I will show it to you just in case you want to hand jam it. Okay, there you go. Pause it. Okay, next one. This one, this is... Uh, more for hand jamming. If I can 
fit the whole thing in here. Okay, so you can put that in. Note this is the title that it's going to be looking for. So make sure this matches the other script that I'll show you in a second. You scroll down. <laughs> okay, you can hand jump that. Okay, and this one, edit. You don't change anything uh, unless you change the title, which is right here. If you change this here to whatever you want, if you don't like my title, uh, you have to. I mean, you have to change it here to whatever you you make it. They they have to match. Okay. So once that's done, you're good to go. <laughs> now the next piece is let's configure task scheduler. Mine's open, so I'm gonna close it. I'll show you how to get there. Start all programs, accessories, uh, system tools, <laughs> task scheduler, schedule library. Bam. What you do is you just create task, but mine are created, so if you click this, it will open one of these, but I'll just open mine, which is already filled out. <clears throat> uh, it's named Minecraft Server right here. Double click. So you just have to fill this in. Select run my uh, run only when users logged on. Give it the highest privilege. Windows 7 or Windows 8, whatever you're using. Trigger. Um, just click New. Okay, it'll look something like this. Make sure you change to at logon, begin the task of logon, specific user, uh, whoever you want it to be enabled. Um, and then uh, you would do new to start a program. It will look blank like this and then you you, know, you browse to it. But I'm going to double click it. So uh, when you browse to it, you, it's going to be the server um, right here, server start. So when your computer boots up, it'll automatically start up the server. That's what that what this script is for. <laughs> and then uh, also go ahead and copy this right here, this path. You want to paste it in here, okay? It's where the script's going to start. Important. Okay. So click OK. You're done. Uh, conditions don't care. Settings don't really care. It's all good. All defaults fine. Okay, now for the backups, Minecraft backups, same thing. Uh, click Create Task, throw you something like this, change it to, you know, name it whatever you want, Minecraft backups. Run only when the user's logged on. Run the highest privileges, Windows 7, Windows 8, whatever you're using. Trigger, click New. It'll show you something like this. You want to do Unschedule, okay, daily, and pick a time, you know, when the least people are on the server. Uh, 140 in the morning is probably good. Enabled, it's good. Action. Um, <coughs> now you can just click new over here. It'll show you this with blank, and then just browse to the backup. That bad. Right here. <coughs> and then uh, copy this here, the path to that thing, and paste it in here. Okay, that's the same as this. And just click OK done. All right, I'm going to minimize it so you can see. Uh, I'm going to kill this too. This over here. <coughs> okay, so this is where your server is going to start. So let's light it up. Uh, Minecraft server. So let's say you just booted up your server. It logged into your account right here. And as soon as it logs on, auto log on, you just, it, it starts this up automatically. And now you can see that it is actually downloading the newest bucket from the developer site directly. It just renamed it to Crab Bucket, uh, and it just started it up. Very cool stuff. Okay, there it is. Creating your spawn area. Everything's populating. Life is good. <clears throat> Too easy. So it's done. Now let's do the backup so you can see how that works. Um, Minecraft backup, right click, run. So this will run at 1.42 in the morning on its own. You see it just brought that window in front of you and, uh, and it just typed in saying, hey, attention, server's going to reboot in five minutes. And it will do the same thing in, in uh, one. So let me 
stop here, and I'll come back as soon as this is done. At about one minute. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, it's uh, posted that one minute thing that you see up there. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain something here. So this window that you see that got activated, you cannot minimize it. Uh, if it's minimized, uh, the backup will never activate that window on the script. You just can't do it. So usually I would build this server on a VM, um, something like this. You can see I have three VMs running here. Uh, and oh, well, there's one server is already going, um, making the backups. So that's how that's working. <clears throat> so here, um, let's see, at about 30 seconds, it'll start counting down. There it goes. Uh, oh, it's actually going a lot faster. Uh, oh, okay, I got it. So you'll see here it's counting down every second, and what it will do is actually shut off the server at when it hits zero and do the backup on its own. So again, this is a server, so good thing to do is run it maybe in a VM in the background, and it will do this all itself, and then you use you can use the machine. Um, to do everything else, like play the actual game, not worry about it, you know, doing the backups. That's how I do it. Okay, stopped it, and there you go. It just made a copy, made a backup, backup directory. And it just, it also downloaded the newest version of Bucket, renamed it, and started it back up. And the server's back up. There you go. That's it. That's the end of it. Uh, now, if you want to stop the server, you just type in stop. It'll give you, um, you know, like 20 seconds or so. So you can just click X. <coughs> and you're done. Or you can do the Control C, however you want to do it. And then if you really want to, you can either just go here and, you know, start it up this way, or you just double click it here, like that. And the server starts back up, and the backups are still scheduled for 1.42 in the morning, so good to go. So right here, uh, when, you, when you do click this, it does download the newest copy of it. Oh, and here's something I promised you in the beginning, let me show you the anti-lag code here. It's right here. This is a one-liner and it's beautiful. This will prevent so much lag. This took me forever to find. Forever on forms. So I'm gonna save you the headaches and this will, <coughs> you know, I, I couldn't, I wasn't able to even run a decent Minecraft server on SSD drives. Notice it's only 4 gigs of RAM. That's all you need. Uh, dedicated. Alright, well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and donate if you like my scripts, and I will be making more stuff um, to make your life easier as a Minecraft admin. Alright, take care.